New details tonight on the Boston Marathon bombings trial. As we first told you on Eyewitness News this morning at 4.30, the parents of the youngest victim, Martin Richard, say Joe Harsonayev should spend the rest of his life in jail. New since then, a local group explains how the family reached this hard decision. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliners in Providence with more live coverage. Shannon, good evening. You know, Bill and Denise Richard made no mention of their personal views on the death penalty, the morality of it. Their focus is on healing. It's not just intriguing, it's a familiar story that doesn't often get told. Dr. Susan Ursling on Bill and Denise Richard's Friday op-ed asking prosecutors to drop the death penalty for Jahar Sarnayev in favor of a life sentence. Ursling has spent years developing services for crime victims. She says the Richards position is extremely common in that world where the word resilience rules. As appeals go on and on, continues to traumatize people, I think they were thinking of their young children, a way to put it behind them, although it will never be out of their lives. The public attention to him or his, the brothers or the cause are driving the story now, not th that family or the other families and the people who have been affected by it. Ursling acknowledges victims have varying feelings about punishment. In the Sarnayev case, there are those who believe death should come at whatever cost. Everybody's experience of this type of crime is individual based on their own families, their own cultural backgrounds, their own religious and spiritual beliefs. So it's very hard to make generalizations. Indeed, the Richards noted at the end of their piece that they only speak for themselves. They cannot and do not speak for other families. Live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Plenter, Eyewitness News.